Guys, it's finally that time of the year. The iPhones have released. I've got myself the iPhone 16 Pro in this box here. And to be honest, guys, I think I might do it. I might switch from the Galaxy S24 Ultra to the iPhone 16 Pro. So straight up, the box of the iPhone 16 Pro. I also bought the case and the screen protector, but I'll talk about that in another video. And if you do follow me on TikTok, you might have seen, I've already opened the phone, so there's nothing in the box, the cable's already at home. But yeah, peeling off the front just for your guys' extra satisfaction. I've already opened the iPhone 16 Pro and I have been using it, but I haven't fully switched to it yet. Holding it side by side with the S24 Ultra, there are a couple differences, but before we talk about that, let's talk about the actual iPhone 16 Pro and everything that's different about this year's phone. Now, in terms of iPhones, I do have an iPhone 13 Pro that I have been maining as my daily iPhone. So yeah, if we compare it to the iPhone 13 Pro to the iPhone 16 Pro, there are a couple of differences. But first up, everything that's new about this year's phone. This year, I got the Desert Titanium. I was thinking, should I get black? Because like, my old phone was graphite, but then I was like, let me switch it up a bit, get this year's main colored phone. And I'm not gonna lie, the Desert Titanium does actually look pretty nice. The Titanium is also a bit more shinier, I've noticed, this year round compared to what we had with the 15 series. And I personally like that change, it does look much better. In terms of what else I can see in terms of like different design, we have a capture button, of course. Now the capture button, I mean, it's, it's okay. I'll be talking about it much more in my full review for the phone. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. But we also have a capture button on the phone. Of course, USB-C at the bottom, but to be honest guys, in terms of like major differences from the 15 Pro series, you're not gonna see much. The bezels on the front of the screen have definitely got much thinner though compared to last year and especially compared to any of the older 14, 13 or 12 series of Pro phones, which is a really nice change. We also have the dynamic island on this phone, which is new to me especially because on the iPhone 13 Pro, we didn't have any of that. It was just a notch. Display is also much brighter from my testing so far in first impressions. And also one of the main things is that they They've actually made the phone slightly bigger than they had with the 15 Pro. We're going from a 6.1 inch display all the way up to a 6.3 inch display while the overall design and handheld factor is about the same. So it won't feel much different in your hand. It is slightly bigger so your 15 Pro cases aren't going to work anymore with the iPhone 16 Pro because it is slightly taller and just slightly wider. But yeah the screen size is bigger mostly because of the reduced bezels on this phone and the reduced bezels honestly do make a significant difference to the phone it does make it look a bit more newer a bit more refreshed over time other things to include we have a new a18 pro processor the fastest processor in any smartphone we hear that every year we also have upgrades to the cameras now i'm gonna be so real one of the main reasons i buy an iphone in the first place is because of the camera so seeing camera upgrades are always a good thing the main 48 megapixel sensor seems unchanged we do have a new 48 megapixel ultra wide camera upgraded from a 12 megapixel camera and i can already see there are a couple of differences the overall image is much more sharper and also with the normal pro phones the five times telephoto that was only on the 15 pro max last year is now on all the phones so it's also on the 16 pro at this smaller more manageable size and this is a big w one of the main reasons i didn't upgrade to the 15 pro last year was because we were still stuck on that free time sensor it wouldn't have made sense it would have basically been the exact same camera situation except for megapixel count like my 13 pro so yeah the five times lens is definitely nice i actually really love shooting with the five times lens it just gives a different look like even the picture i'm taking right now i'll put it on this side of the screen or somewhere just to show you guys like yeah Make sure to subscribe for the full review because I am going to be talking about the camera a lot. I love the camera. But yeah, what you guys all came here for, my reason for switching. So I have been using the S24 Ultra since it came out, I think. So yeah, it's been a brilliant phone. There are some trades that I have to do if I want to use a 16 Pro over the S24 Ultra. For example, the battery life is definitely going to be better on the S24 Ultra. We have a 5000 mAh battery versus a 3500 mAh battery on this phone. So yeah, battery life is probably not going to be as good. Also, the size difference. That is a very big size difference between these two phones, as you guys can see. The display is also really good. Speaking of display. The one thing I wanted Apple to bring over to the S to the iPhone 16 Pro was the anti-reflective coating that we have on the S24 Ultra. 
we didn't get that. That was the one thing I really wanted on the 16 Pro and I'm probably really gonna miss because the anti-reflective coating makes a really, really big difference in day-to-day -day use. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, overall, I don't have the same excitement for the iPhone 16 Pro as I've had for previous iPhones, such as when I got my 13 Pro. I think technology as a whole is just getting to a point where there's not much you can add to phones anymore. I think that's why the 16 Pro sales were down by, I think the number was 26% this year just because Apple haven't added much. Apple have also said that they're gonna be bringing Apple intelligence to this phone and you know what annoys me guys so much? They are advertising for everybody to buy the iPhone 16 series because of Apple intelligence. Like that's the main reason you should buy the phone. But then when you open your shiny new iPhone 16 Pro, you still have the same old boring Siri. That is really disappointing. I hope maybe they could have worked on it a bit faster. I get that they're trying to make everything perfect so when you actually have the new Siri, there won't be any problems. However, now I'm stuck with an iPhone 16 Pro. Sure, I can use the cameras, I can use the display. It's a good phone by itself, but what you're marketing everybody to buy it for, being Apple intelligence, isn't here. And I think for UK users, it might be delayed until as late as 20, early 2025. That's crazy. Nevertheless, I am gonna be switching to the 16 Pro for the S24 Ultra. This is still gonna be in my left pocket, but in terms of what's my main phone with my main SIM, it's gonna be the iPhone 16 Pro. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the camera comparisons, performance, display, battery life test, everything. I'll be doing it here. Also, follow my TikTok. I do make good videos on TikTok. I have like 75,000 followers. You should be the next 75,001 follower, if that makes sense. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys very soon with more videos comparing the best of both worlds.